Hello everyone and welcome to the second day and the final day of the Collider Cup. Today I'm joined by Cursed Wolf. Hello! Hello, how's your day going? I'm good, I'm good. And we're also joined by Havoc. Hello there, how are you doing? Ah, pretty good, pretty excited. How are you feeling about your comeback? I mean, pretty... Pretty interested in what's going to happen. Pretty excited to come back and finally cast again after about a season. So hopefully there are going to be good games today to just play off of. Yes. I mean, it's going to be very exciting. <clears throat> Should we get into how the Clyde Cup has gone so far? Yeah, sure. Give a rundown of how the four teams have come to get here. Let's so, switch the scene real quick. Indeed. So let's start with Irrelevant Esports. They started off playing against, I'll have to find it, a Cypher White while, while getting a free pass at the start. Um, then they later play on to win against Gedalians. Then moving on against Almany and winning 2 1. Moving on to Luxa. Got to, got to scroll back real quick. Sorry about this. Um, they got a forfeit win against Team Orion, then winning against Emergence Academy very confidently, and then making their way against Zyph Esports Green, who's another one of the top four teams, and winning 2-0. Moving down to the lower bracket for... We'll start with uh, Zypha Green. After just losing against Luxa, they play um, Nova in the finals and win 2-0 quite comfortably. Cypher White getting knocked out in an early stage. Had to try and claw their way back up to the top four again, beating Zolari Team Zolarity, then Luna Esports. Following up against Lynx Esports 2-0. Um, Zypher White then beating Evidence Academy 2-1 and finally beating Almine 2-0. So the top four teams will be, as stated, <clears throat> Irrelevant Esports, Luxa Esports, Zypher Green, and Zypher White. Yes, and all of the matches will be best of five today for our series overall. And we'll start with uh, Irrelevant Esports with Luxa Esports. Uh, Havoc, I think you've watched the stream yesterday. What are your thoughts on the matchup? Well, I mean, looking at the bracket we had so far, Luxa have had what I feel to have a harder kind of start of the bracket. And they have done very well. They have haven't lost a game at all yet. So they've clean sweep both matches. And they come into this against Irrelevant, who have had more of an easy side, I would say, playing Amoni in the final day 1-2-1. One, one. It's a good win for them. Um, I feel like Luxor overall could have a better chance and maybe take this 3-1. I see yeah. what you mean, mate. Yeah, looks like they're a very strong team. Uh, they have made themselves a champs Div team in a league play. And um, for this, myself, I'm going to go for a, I want to say a 3-2 to Luxa. It's going to be a close game, in my opinion. Both teams are very strong. But yeah, in the end, overall, I think it's going to be a Luxa win. Yeah, yesterday I predicted either a relevant esports or one of the Cypher teams to win the entire tournament, but now I'm kind of rooting for Luxo esports as well, because they kind of surprised me, to be honest. How so? Yeah, I mean, they promoted, but through the season, they I'm, I think they ended up fourth place, made it barely to playoffs, and yeah, they are so far in the tournament, uh, it's kind of a surprise for me, personally. Fair. Um, <clears throat> uh, do we want to try and get our predictions done for the second bracket game? 
or should we try and leave that for a later on discussion? Uh, I think we can do it later. That's going to be fine. Yep. Hmm. I mean, just as a quick side note to those that are watching and possibly aren't in the ECC, <clears throat> um, on the twi Twitch page, you will scroll down and see a lovely little display made by one of our production play um, people. Uh, Ashton it is. Um, he's given you the links to our Discord. Originally, if you click that, you can join the Discord. Um, if you click the YouTube, you'll see all the previous um, league matches. Um, we all have our Twitter there. And what else is there? Anyone else can remember? Someone help, quick. Um... Um, <laughs> don't have it open right now either. Uh, <laughs> I think the donation button, maybe? <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> Timmy to the rescue. <laughs> yeah, we'll, have a, we'll have a donation button there for those that are feeling very generous. Um, if you also want to, there's the stream schedule as to that will let you know who's available for what times for when the games will be played and the tournament page to explain how the games and the season will pan out we have looks in at the moment just waiting for relevant esports shouldn't take too long yeah i mean i'm expecting a close series overall It's going to be very close, yeah. Um, I mean, the that's, that's uh, the loser I'm... of this match has still a chance to advance to the finals, so... Of course, of course. Yeah. The loser of this match will play against either Zypher White or Zypher Green, depending on whoever wins. We... I think they're going to join any minute, the uh, relevant players. Um, but yeah, we'll... we'll we are aiming to host several tournaments, not this preseason, but throughout the um, age, or let's call it, of the ECC. We'll try and have tournaments for anyone to enter. Uh, thank you to Timmy, the caster, for the Clyder Cup, alongside Sky and Gif, and also um, Solus for helping us um, get the tournament page sorted whilst where everyone else was very busy. <clears throat> yeah, and also thanks to you and to Havoc, of course, for casting. That's no problem. It's fun and I enjoy doing so. Yeah, and while we're waiting for the last few players to join, we'll go on a quick break and we'll be back when the game starts. We are here with the first game of this upper bracket, Luxa versus Irrelevant Esports. EJ playing the ball into the center, no one there for it quite yet, Crocker trying to play a ball also rattles now, taking the ball upfield, waiting for a teammate to go to the, but unfortunately EJ was there to block it, Razzle couldn't quite get to the ball, the ball's played into the center, Pichu back flipping, I think he might have Fakes Leo, but I couldn't quite get there. Um, Havoc, have you played against either of these teams? Well, I mean, we had to face Luxor in the promotion relegation playoff, and they, to be honest, really dominated us in the way they played. Uh, they're sometimes not too consistent, but they're really quick in the way they play, and they seem to have a good uh, team cohesion. So yeah. they're very quick, and they always beat us to the ball, really. It was pretty much that which helped them to win. And I'm kind of hoping to see more of the same here. They're playing against yes. some played against before, and they take the lead here through Razzle. Indeed, Razzle just taking a little air dribble over both players there. Very well placed as well. Unfortunately, couldn't quite reach the ball. Yeah, Can't I feel break. like it's... 
Yeah, been a bit of a slow start almost for both teams. You know, we saw the backflips earlier on and a bit of struggle to go get the ball, but hopefully this opening goal will help both the teams really get together here. Indeed, as Ejap plays the ball high up into the air. Rattles couldn't quite reach it, and Ejap with an opportunity doesn't quite take it. Leo getting demoed by Razzle. Karaka there getting a nice placement. Rattles just getting a save. Peachy now playing the ball into the center. Razzle playing the ball upfield. Blocked by Ejap, who's going for a demo on Rattles. Couldn't quite get there, unfortunately. Rattles playing the ball high. Blocked by Karaka. Very well saved. Almost was going in. Pichu trying to get an angle to a pass. Ejap now playing the ball up the field. Taking her time. The nice little dribble. Gets it under one. Tries to flick it around the other two. Gets a nice little 50. But Karaka nor Leo was there to save it. Razzle playing the ball high. Following it up afterwards into the center. Rattles there. Blocked by Ejap with an early challenge. Leo playing the ball up into the sky. Hoping for Karaka to get there. Indeed he does. Now playing the ball into the center, Leo couldn't quite reach it. Rattles now with an opportunity. Tries to go for a demo, it seems, but Pichu saving Ejap's shot. Pichu playing the ball across to the sides to Leo. Leo taking a shot, it seems, and Karaka doing also, or trying to clear it at least. The amount of pressure these teams are putting on is quite intense. What do you think, Havoc? Yeah, I mean, especially in the attack, players are really pushing for the goals in both sides but defensively sometimes they're a bit slow to push and they're kind of closing down is a bit weak so it's giving the attacking side a lot of time and space to work with which is probably why they're getting a lot of shots right now indeed i mean <clears throat> ilv are putting on a, a lot of offensive pressure but they haven't been able to get their chances as leo plays the ball across to the side rocker couldn't quite reach it rattles playing it high Ejap, the only one to reach it afterwards. Crocker with a nice angle. Ball onto the backboard. Rattles with a free jump of a save. Leo, it's like he's going for a backboard. Shot, couldn't quite reach it. Crocker, 50s with Pichu who gets a save. Rattles with an opportunity to get this into the center to potentially a teammate. Plays it off the back. Leo saves it. Crocker upfield. Pichu forced to head back. Tries to get the save. Indeed he does. Who do you say are the strongest two players or the strongest player of each team? Yeah, have it. I'm not sure. Both teams are working really well together. <laughs> Once again, a goal going in here, irrelevant, equalising it up. But going back to your point, I mean, I've seen a lot so far from Pichu on the locks and side going for a lot of balls and closing down. But you know, it's quite even at the moment and quite early to tell. Indeed, yeah. I mean, looking at the stats, Pichu and Raffles both getting saves for his te their team. Pichu not getting any shots. It seems like he's probably the defensive prowess that they have. Maybe Rattles and Razzle have a good synergy upfield and definitely giving more offensive pressure and power. The ball gets played up again. Ejap now with an opportunity nicely placed. Razzle with the save this time. Crocker playing the ball up to the side. He's got a little dribble. Can't quite get there. Leo just missing the backboard. Pichu flicking the ball forwards away, but Ejap is there. Rattles now with an opportunity. Zero boost. Crocker plays it up the field. Back down by Razzle as an opportunity for a goal. Potentially was taken by Ejap. Pichu and Rattles both committing to that, and Ejap now playing the ball onto the backboard. Opportunity still for. Leo gets the dribble, tries to flick it over two of the players, only the one as Razzle blocks it. <clears throat> Razzle playing the ball up high, looks like a potential fake as Crocker goes a bit too high for the ball but still hits it down regardless. An opportunity, Ejap playing the ball into the center, tries to get a fake it seems, but Rattles is there to block it. Crocker playing the ball into the center it seems, Leo playing the ball up high. It's a zero second opportunity. The ball played into the center. Crocker with a zero second goal. What a passing play. Relevance really turning, turning on soul here. Um, the pass across, perfect. Keeping it up. Limited boost to do so as well. And Crocker just to finish that in the top corner. Sealing the first game victory here. I mean, just both teams really well played in defense, especially keeping each other out in the end. I know it's a bit slow, but... They ended up doing pretty well. And along with that, there were a few whiffs here and there, but 
you know, first game of the final day is always going to be a hard start for both teams. So we'll be back with you after a short break for the next game. Second game, getting underway now. LV Esports putting in a lot of offensive pressure to get themselves that zero second goal in that first game. Opportunity as Rattles plays that forward. Unfortunately, Croc is there, gets it high over Piju. Razzle getting a nice block. And Ejap playing a swift ball into the center. Razzle tries to clear it, doesn't seem like it's going too well. Croc now getting a nice dribble, tries to get over Rattles. Doesn't get there himself but Pichu playing the ball into the center unfortunately no one is there but Rattles back in time to block Crocker's attempt ball falls into the center Leo getting a nice shot but Razzles there to save it Pichu and Razzle both going up for that Rattles the only one back in time but Crocker gets the goal a huge amount of offensive pressure here from the irrelevant side shows here one lot 45 seconds gone but Good finish there from Crocker. The original shot bringing out two players. Giving that push open. Yes, indeed. Kickoff goes high. Rattles and Crocker both going up for it. Racing to the ball. Razzle hits it high. Looks like it's hitting the ceiling. Pichu with an opportunity. Couldn't quite get his angle. Crocker playing the ball up. Following it up. Plays it low. Now it looks like Leo's going to try and take over and play across, but Pichu is there to block it. Pichu, with an opportunity to try to flick into the center, but no one was there in time apart from Ejap and Leo getting a nice 50. Ball falls down into the center. Pichu getting a nice little angle, it seems. Rattles looks like he's going to go for a little, or at least an attempt on a pass, but he decides to leave it, but all three players are upfield and quite taking advantage. Two goals up here. Loxor have a game on their hands, especially being two goals down. Just a lack of rotation and communication, leaving all three of their players up. Crocker uh, with the open net to take his talent to this game. Indeed, with three and a half minutes remaining. Ejap now. It looks like she's going to go for a flick swiftly, blocked by Pichu. Rattles getting blocked by Leo and Crocker couldn't quite reach the ball for a third time. Leo plays the ball high just into the crossbar, couldn't get it into the net. Pichu now, looks like he's going to try and take advantage of this situation. Ejap going for a block, but Crocker is there to save the ball regardless. And Razzle playing the ball high, Pichu, he's there, tries to read the bounce, but Leo blocks him and Crocker plays the ball over to Leo this time, who gets it over Razzle. Rattles back on his own, it seems, and he's got a 3v1 situation. He's taking the ball off of his slip up. Yeah, once again, the overload and attack from Relevance and Rattles really with a bit of a whiff there. He could have done a lot more with that, but Leo, good play to be there. Pounce on that mistake. And indeed, it is now 3-0 with just over 30 seconds of the previous goal. Peach with an opportunity. Can't quite reach it into the center. Crocker gets it under Rattles. Razzle playing it into a centered position. Blocked by Ejap, who plays the ball high off onto the backboard. Pichu takes a nice little touch, plays it off to the side wall. Crocker, the only one to reach it. The ball rolling down into the center. Can Leo get the goal? No, he can't get the angle, unfortunately. Pichu getting it over Ejap. Crocker is there. Opportunity for Rattles with a shot off the backboard. Looks like he's going in. Leo with a great save. Pichu blocking player in net. 
Razzle trying to play a ball around into the center. Leo missing. But Ejap is there getting a round one. Tries to get around the second. She does. Croker playing it up. Not as powerful as he wanted. Razzle looks like he's going to get it around Leo. Can't quite get it around Croker, however. And Leo playing himself high with the ball. Can't quite reach it, the ball, even though Rattles gets there in time. Pichu plays the ball into the center. Leo can't quite reach it. Havoc, what do you think looks are doing wrong at the moment? I mean, it's just a bit slow for them at the moment, and they're not utilizing passing plays and everyone on the pitch for their side, which is what they really did effectively against us in the playoff a few weeks back. So, really for me, it's just they need to pass a bit more and open space up using really the ball more than their positioning. Yeah, I know what you mean there. Um, as Leo plays the ball high, Rattles and Razzle both going up for that. Ended up being blocked by both players. Ejap playing the ball upfield to Karaka. It seems that ILV have their passing plays on point. Razzle getting a demo on Karaka. Pichu following up with the ball. Does look backflip. It seemed like he was just trying to position himself a bit better. Ejap playing the ball to Karaka, who tries to play it himself as well as Leo. Opportunity as Razzle plays the ball to Pichu. Can't quite reach it with the small amount of boost that he has. Rattles goes for a 50. The ball played high. Ejak and Leo both going up for it. But Crocker there to follow it up. An angle. And it's in. Yeah, four goals here. Relevance are really taking this game away from Luxor. If they keep playing like this and getting quick plays forward, the quick counter attacks, they're really going to have a good time here. But it's just a problem that Luxor have a really not much boost in defense. And they need to get the ball out and keep it forward for much longer than they are. Yes, it's a 4-0 game with 30 seconds remaining. This definitely looks like ILV's possible win com for, to complete the series, regardless of it only being the second game. It's definitely swaying my opinion. Leo trying to play the ball into the center. Rattles there, follows it up with a dribble, tries to get around Ejap. He does razzle there to follow it up, gets it around Karaka. And Leo, the final man, tries to flick it, but Pichu plays the ball into the center. Ejap there gets the save. Four seconds, and it seems a win for Irrelevant Esports. Well, not quite the consolation goal, but Relevant Esports really playing well here. Karaka being top of the leaderboard, and you can tell really took the game into his own hands, getting the hat trick, and there's just overall quick, good play from Irrelevance throughout that game. So I guess we'll be back in a short while for the next game. and potential final game of the series. Relevant Esports currently 2-0 in this best of five series. PG playing the ball over to Rattles, back into the center, but Ejap is there to block it. PG now, very little boost, gets a clear, but Leo is there. Razzle and Rattles both commit into that save. Gives Crocker an opportunity, but thankfully, PG is there for the block. Ejap playing the ball down to Leo. Leo looks like he's gonna Try and make a pass to Ejap. Couldn't quite get it. Crocker with an opportunity on net. Both Rattles and Razzle in net again. Looks like they're trying to do the same rotation. Pichu off the posts. Couldn't get himself positioned right in the net. And Crocker plays the ball high. Leo's there. Also, Razzle and Pichu 
Thankfully, Rattle got to the ball. Otherwise, that could have been a very dangerous opportunity. Rattle's playing the ball high down the line. Is anyone there for it apart from Karaka? No. Razzle finally there to follow it up. The ball bounces down, but Ejap is there to save it. Pichu blocking. But unfortunately for him, Leo and Ejap with a nice passing play. Off onto the backboard. Karaka blocked by Pichu with a great save. Rattles tries to go for a 50 with Ejap. Doesn't look like it went anyone's way. But regardless of that, Relevant have taken the advantage of that situation. Crocker playing the ball into the center. Rattles missing. Thankfully, Pichu is back in time. Leo and Rattles going at it alongside Crocker and Razzle. As Leo tries to play it back into Crocker. Unfortunately, couldn't reach it with Rattles getting a block. Razzle looking for a pass. Pichu doing the same, it seems, or tried to go for a shot on net. It's a nil-nil situation. How do you think either of these teams can take advantage, Havoc? Well, I mean... Thinking right now, Luxor taking this game a bit better. They're coming out of their comfort zone, but once again, it's a point that infant passes need to be made to open up the space, and Relevance can utilize that as well a bit more. The same with Luxor, obviously, as I said before, but you know, they just need to be a bit quicker and close down a bit faster to put more pressure on, and it will lead to a goal much easier. In Indeed, it will. No one's back, but Rattles thankfully there. Rocker now with another opportunity. No one in net yet again. Bounces just off the post. Rattles and Razzle both there for the save. Pichu getting faked to seen by Leo and Crocker just wedging it into the bottom corner. Can we just see the issue here again from Luxor that the ball is not contested quick enough or not strong enough. So the miss was quite unfortunate there in defensive position. It just went, no one could go for it, but good follow up from Crocker to take the lead here with just over half the game left to go. Indeed Rattles tries to get a 50 with Leo. Crocker now opportunity. Visible high Pichu getting the ball towards the opponent's net alongside Rattles who takes it high off of a pressure and counter attack potential. Crocker just securing them in the second goal. Yeah, all the time in the world once again, but two goals up here. It's looking like they should and could take this game away and get the 3 0 sweep, but there's just no one in the right position there from Luxor to hook it out. And that really led to the goal in the end. Indeed, with this second goal scored with only two minutes remaining, the hope of Luxor winning this is getting slimmer and slimmer. Leo getting a nice little save, tries to pinch it, just bounces back out. Pichu getting blocked by Ija. Leo following the ball up onto the wall. Rattles tries to get the block. It does do well for it. Pichu trying to get a save alongside Razzle. An opportunity for Crocker again. He gets the third goal. Crocker's hat trick here, one minute 43 left. Just need to see what happened defensively here. The pass out from Leo is actually perfect, pretty much giving Croc an open net. And just defensive rotation was a bit weak and meant the open net was there for irrelevance. Indeed, and again at this third goal with a minute and a half just over to go. Pichu playing the ball across to Razzle, who couldn't quite reach it with Leo with an intercept. Razzle, it seems, might have. Gone AFK, I can't tell. He's sitting still. He's back now, thank thankfully for this. Needless to say, Ejap plays the ball high. Can't quite get a second on it as Pichu getting a block. Crocker playing the ball across to Ejap. The ball bouncing down into the center. Leo turns around in time. Is anyone in net for it? No. Once again, though, we see all three members of Luxor in front of the ball. Leo, all he had to do is turn. And internet goes four goals up with one minute left, and it's seeming fully out of reach here for Luxor. Indeed, this competition has definitely come close to an end. Pichu potentially getting a shot, unfortunately blocked by Karaka. Razzle being blocked by Ejap. Rattles looks like he's going to go for one himself. Swiftly blocked by Leo. This little rotation that Relevant have is a very strong one, needless to say. Leo now trying to get a nice save away. Rattles couldn't quite get his flick off like he wanted to. Pichu getting demoed, plays the ball high. Ejap missing. Crocker, zero boost. 
getting a save, it seems, but Leo pinching it has got his own post. Yeah, the one potentially consolation goal here for Luxor. The finish, I don't know if that was fully going in or Leo just pushed into the net himself. But there we have it, Razzle to get one back and maybe a chance for a comeback, but seeming unlikely. Indeed, a pinched kick off the ball played down. Pichu almost had an opportunity, but Quok Rocker well read. Leo taking the ball as a pass to Ejap Pichu. Putting on a lot of pressure, he gets his second goal. Could the, counter, the comeback sorry, actually happen? Well, I mean, Loxor are definitely pushing a lot more than they were. And they're seeming to put the pressure on a bit more. Pichu there going for the ball twice and really paying off with the goal. They just have to keep this up for the last 24 seconds and you'd never know they could get game back here. Indeed, it looks like Pichu's definitely come out of a shell of defence and he's gone for a lot more opportunities. He's definitely helped him pay off, but 13 seconds remaining. The opportunities don't seem likely. Rattles plays it up high, very slowly. Karaka securing themselves the win of the whole series. Yep, and really there it was too little, too late for Luxor. They seemed to slowly get back into it, but it just took too long for them. And Irrelevance taking the sweep, really not what we thought, but what do you feel like Luxor did do wrong? And it meant that they didn't win the series overall. I mean, looking back at the first game, Pichu was a very strong defensive player. But well, that's how he played throughout the game. But in my opinion, it seems that he's a very strong offensive player. So he just needed to secure himself in the offensive rotation and definitely secure some of the shots for his team. Yeah. As, as for like Rattles and Razzle, both of them are very strong players and they both have good synergy. But they, it seemed in this last game or towards the end of the second game, their rotation kind of caught, mimicked each other and it definitely put allowed a lot of goals to pass through. But I think it was just, like you said, closing down the gaps to secure the, um, or to stop the goals from getting through would have definitely given them an edge to potentially win the series. Yeah, and for me really there, what you're saying about how Peach is more of an attacking player, that would have come much more effective if the defensive clears were much better, because it would have meant Peach could have pushed forward and got the shots on, which we saw in the final game, but it's too late and they kind of worked it out, but, you know, they could only get two goals out of it when they needed a lot more. Indeed. And for the next game going to come up soon, in roughly 15 to 20 minutes, would you say? Um, yeah, we will have Zypher Green vs Zypher White at 3.45. And 4.45 CET time, sorry, I spoke to GMT. My apologies. But yes, make sure you stay tuned for that game about to come up, and we'll be back with you shortly.
And we are back with our second match of the day, Cypher Green vs Cypher White. My beautiful casters, what are your opinions? Thank you for that compliment. Whether it's accurate <laughs> or not, I can't tell you. Um, <laughs> it's, it's definitely not. It's definitely not. <laughs> Plot twists. But anyway, um, Cypher White and Cypher Green, two teams from the same org. I don't know how I guessed that, but it's probably by the fact that they both have the same name. Um, Zypher Green only losing in the final round uh, against uh, Luxor. Again, went against Nova. But Zypher White lost at an early stage and they pulled, dragged themselves the whole way through the lower bracket. So, um, I want to say it's going to be a close match. Um, both teams may know each other quite well. I presume so. But I know that the Zypher teams love to compete against each other and try and better the next. So it should pose for a fun and interesting game. Havoc, what are your thoughts? Well, I mean, like I said, I mean, I kind of like the lower bracket run here from Zypher White. They did get knocked out 2-1 by the upper bracket winners here, which shows that they do have something in them, as they did manage to take a game off the upper bracket winners. But... No, I'm kind of rooting for Zypher White as they have had this huge lower bracket run, winning five games there. So I'm kind of wanting Zypher White to win here just because of that, but I also agree it's going to be a very close game here, and obviously they both know each other very well, so they're going to be able to read each other as well. Yes, indeed. Should we try and start for predictions, please? So who wants to start with the series score? Yeah, I'll go with it. We'll do this. Okay. I'm going to go Zypher White to win 3 2. Ooh. That's, that's interesting. I, I was, I was going to go for the opposite. I was going to say Zypher Green 3 2. Uh, yeah, I agree with you, Cursed. I think yes. Zypher Green are going to take it because I believe Zypher White are missing a player, their captain, I believe. And uh, I think yes, Zypher Green uh, have a better chance at winning. Fair enough. I mean, it's sort of split, but again, this is going to pose for a very close game. We will try and get this game started and get underway. We'll be back with you shortly. First game, Cypher White this Cypher Green, they're already very friendly to each other. It seems Rayman playing the ball back down pads with an opportunity into the center. Thomas takes a nice touch, tries to get around Ked. Fortunately, can't do so. Duck playing the ball high. Can he reach it? Blocked by Flabben. Rayman playing the ball into the center. Ked playing it down and Thomas is there. Looks like he's going for a 50. Have a... Did you say you played at these teams before? Oh, I played Zypher Green with Yui and Srib as Igneous earlier on in this competition, and we nearly took it against them. We lost 2 1, and the second game, or the third game, sorry, being in overtime. So they definitely have situations where you can exploit their maybe weaknesses, but you know, they were a very strong team overall offensively, and we kind of back a bit. So that's probably a bit of the reason why we ended up having close games. That makes sense. Thomas with a demo on pads and Rayman 
Getting the block on Flavin's angle. Thomas just trying to keep it away. Play, tries to play it to Duck, who jumps. Ked trying to play the ball into the center. Fortunately, Duck is there to get it out of the way. Rayman missing the ball and Paz with a shot. Thomas with a great save. Paz playing the ball back into the center. Rayman with the clear. Duck looks like he's going to try and follow it up with a pinch potentially. No, he goes for a straight pass and blocked, but Thomas with a nice angle and it's bottom corner. Yeah, the pre-jump coming in from the defense side, I couldn't quite work out who that was. Maybe Flavin up front and Thomas could just sneak it in behind him. Pads not expecting that fully as well. Just caught out position a bit there after the first attempt and save. And here we have Zypher White taking the lead here after 1 minute 30. Indeed. Duck now looks like he's going for a little bit of an air dribble. Takes it down to Thomas. They go for a pinch. Flavin is there to clear it to Paz who gets a nice little angle. Ked with a... What a play! Yeah, great passing play there from Zypher Green. Just a redirect from Paz over to Keds and it's almost as if they knew where each other were perfectly. The communication must have been crisp and the equaliser coming shortly after. Yes, in a matter of a few seconds, it is now 1-1 with Ked with a beautiful equaliser inside the rest of Zypher Green. Duck playing the ball into the center, gets it around Ked. So he's gonna try and go for it, but Ked gets his revenge and demos him. Adds playing the ball towards the net, gets an angle in at the bottom corner. Yeah, the turnaround here. White taking the lead, Green ahead now. The quick play from Pants over the one. The demo really helped out, really put off that defensive pressure and rotation. Really quite a simple shot to put it into the bottom corner and take the lead here. Indeed, that kickoff going in more of a favour to Zypher White. Ed missing the ball. Flabbard getting a nice block. Thomas trying to get his angle. Duck getting blocked by pads. And an opportunity Flabbard. Ball falls to the center to pads and Ked plays the ball down. Fortunately, no one is there, but it looks like an angle and it's in. I'm not sure what really happened there for Zypher White's defense. Ked with the good angle, but the miss at the front post really threw off the defense, rotating around the back, and no one ended up being there to clear it away. Zypher Green with a two goal cushion here. In. Now Ked with a nice little kickoff, but Rayman is there, tries to get it over pads. He does nice little angle down, just hits the crossbar. Duck trying to follow it up and Flabin just clearing it away. Thomas trying to get it away from the rest of the opponents. A nice little angle and Duck with a great save. Pads playing the ball back into the center. The pressure is still here. Rayman getting a flick over Flabin. Duck gets a little pass down to Rayman. I'm not sure what he tried there. He may have got a flip reset. Pads playing the ball up the field. Duck waiting for the bounce. Getting a block on Ked. And Rayman playing the ball upfield. Can Duck reach it? No. Flabin is there. Plays it across to Rayman who gets a nice little angle back into the center. But Pads is there to clear it. Thomas slowing down the play a bit. Duck also going for the challenge on Pads it seems. Thomas getting a flick over Ked. Thomas getting a pass in to the center. Thomas... Just missing the ball himself. How do you think both of these teams are playing and performing, Havoc? I mean, both teams are playing outstandingly well here for the lower bracket final, pretty much here. Really, kind of, I guess. But uh, <laughs> Zypher Green really taking the pressure off or off themselves and onto Zypher White having the three one leads here. Passing plays working out perfectly. They're just seeming to communicate perfectly with each other. Mm -hmm. Indeed, and Zypher Green have an upper edge with the two goals. Duck now trying to play the ball into the center. Pads is there to block it, but it looks like an open opportunity. Thomas hitting the ball off of a player, and it looked like it just skied itself in it to the crossbar. Duck with a nice 50. Thomas with zero boost plays it around into the center. Can't get much of it. Flabben trying to play it. Fortunately, he can't get it. Anyway, Thomas playing the ball down into the center. Rayman playing it back high. Flabin with the save towards his teammate Ked trying to get across. 
and out of his half. Thomas getting a demo. Ked trying a 50 with Duck winning the ball and the opportunity into the center. Duck now looks like he's going up onto the wall with the ball. Plays it down into the center around Flabben. Ked playing it high. Needless to say, it is a win for Zypher Green. Yeah, and I really felt that Zypher White started a bit too calm and a bit too slow. They tried to take the ball down in the half and try and pass it about. But Green were on them instantly. White kind of sorting it out at the end, making it a bit quicker and a bit more pressured, which really helped them in the late stages. So maybe something a bit more close in game number two, which will be coming up shortly. <laughs> Second game about to get underway here. Zypher Green getting their first win of the series. Pads playing the ball high. Rayman is there with the comfortable save. Ked playing the ball back down into the center. Duck, even though he has zero boost, managed to get the block on Flabben, who plays it into the center to Pads. Plays the ball and can't quite reach it. Thomas getting a demo on Ked. The amount of passing plays already being performed is immense. Rayman couldn't quite get the angle that he wanted. But this play does seem to have sped up. How do you think this is going to pan out this game, Alec? Well, I'm thinking that Zypher White are going to put a bit more pressure on as they seem to be at the moment, getting the passing plays going. So hopefully they're going to be able to counter Zypher Green's speed from game number one. Maybe push ahead here. Raymond's take the lead. And it seems like they are doing just that. Indeed, Thomas playing that onto the back of the crossbar dropping down no one able to challenge it and Rayman securing his goal one goal into the first 45 seconds of the game Thomas playing the ball around two of the players nice little dribble gets the boost and the flick but Duck isn't there to get towards it Rayman playing the ball into the center Pads playing the ball out but Duck is there plays the ball high Thomas tries to get the angle, but Ked with the save. Pads playing the ball around. But Rayman is there to block it. Pads this time blocking it himself. Duck playing the ball into Thomas. Who gets the ball saved by Flabben. Opportunity now as Duck demos one of the players. Thomas leaving it for Duck and Duck securing the goal. Good communication there from the two players in the attack. Duck going up for the ball. Thomas just... Realising he's there, a bit of an angle to finish it off, but the goal is pretty much open. Zypher White with two goals up here. They're putting it onto themselves to get the win back and take it back from Zypher Green. Indeed, Ked playing the ball high, off onto the crossbar alongside Rayman, but Thomas is there to save Paz's shot. Ball played down to Rayman, who tries to get a second angle, can't quite get it done, so Duck playing the ball into the centre, Paz. Getting it upfield. Rayman the only one to challenge and get to the ball. Flabben and Pads both on the wall. Neither challenging for it. Now both of them. An opportunity now. Duck, he plays it high over Ked who has zero boost. And wedges it underneath. Zypher Green in a bit of a defensive issue here. The double commit going forward. Ked left at the back with no boost. Duck I don't think had much either but he was just there to finish it off. And three goals up here. Zypher White seemed to be running away with this. Indeed they are. Pads playing this ball across to the side. It's almost as if Zypher White just wanted a warm-up game. But needless to say, the ball played into the centre and Duck securing the goal through his hat-trick. 
Once again, a lack of pressure from Zypher Green to push the ball. Rayman just pinching it into the middle. The side flip from Flab and, and Duck to put it into the top corner. They really are running away with it, like I keep saying. And just the pressure is immense right now from Zypher White. And indeed, there is. The ball played into the centre once again. Duck couldn't reach it, but Pad scores an own goal. Oh, that's so unfortunate from Zypher Green. The passing play was there. The save from Flavin and Pads just booming it into the top corner. Not much you could do to get out of the way, but maybe a bit different rotation. And five goals up here for Zypher White. Indeed. Rayman playing the ball up high. Bouncing it down off the backboard. But head, I believe that was, was there to save it. Thomas now with an opportunity. Duck. Playing it into the centre, can't quite reach it himself. Ked getting the save flabber now. Trying to get around Raymond who reads the pass and tries to get it to Duck. Doesn't get the angle that he wants over and Thomas plays that onto the backboard. Paz plays it out and Flabin is there to receive it. Looks like he's going to play a centre once more but he can't. Duck is there. It's a nice bit of controlled play. Tries to get it over Paz once more but he can't do so. Thomas playing the ball up. Doesn't get it around Ked. And the ball played across. Paz is there. Can't get it around Thomas, but Ked is there to follow it up. Opportunity. But Paz is there to demo, or at least bump Rayman, who maneuvers nicely and gets an opportunity. But Flavin is there to save it. Paz missing the ball. Duck is there, plays it down. The only one there to reach it is Ked, who tries to play it off up to Paz. Doesn't quite do so. Flavin playing it wide. Pads now, now trying to get a pass to Flabin, but is very unfortunate to reach him. Rayman playing the ball across to Thomas. Thomas with a nice angle. It takes nil. Minute and a half remaining. Really smart play there from Zypher White. Rayman playing it behind Ked, making it so awkward. Thomas with the inch perfect shot into the corner. And here we have it 6 nil. What can Zypher White do? Or Zyph Green, sorry, to really get back in, especially for the next game. I mean, Cypher Green, let's just have a look at the stats they have at the moment. They've got a lot of saves. They've got five shots, but there's no real attempts on net that they have that are very persuasive. I mean, Pad's just getting the opportunity there, but it seems that Cypher White are putting a lot of their players in the defensive position, seeing as they are currently winning 6-0. It may have been those first few goals put them in a comfortable position. Needless to say, the ball bouncing down. Rayman there towards Thomas, who plays it off the sidewall. Duck trying to get the angle. He does get it over one, but there. Perfect timing. 45 seconds. Thomas plays it over Flab, and the ball's in once again. Yeah, and 7 0. No, it's really over at this point. All Zyphe Green can do is try and get a goal or two to keep their confidence up for game number three. But really, the creativity is on for Zypher White. And they're really pushing forward, passing plays are there. And it's really putting off Zypher Green in terms of their clearances. Indeed it is. Rayman playing the ball up and away. Flabben can't quite reach it. Pads just clearing it. But Duck reads it, plays it into the centre. Thomas is there. Flabben free jumps and it's 8 now. 30 seconds remaining. It's really rubbing salt into the wound here. Zypher really outplaying their team partners in Zypher Green, and you know, it's surprising to see one team out of two running away like this, but you know, Zypher Green have at least another two games to get back and really redeem themselves. Yes, indeed. Again, only 20 seconds remaining. Thomas playing a back pass. I'm not sure what was happening there. Duck getting it around pads. He tries to play it into the center for Ked. Does win the 50 50 and the ball bounces out. Rayman, the only one there to reach it. The ball attack is going to bounce out into the center. Has reads it well. The ball rolling up. Opportunity doesn't seem likely. And the game has been won by Zypher White. Yeah, and just a change in mentality there from the Zypher White team kind of shows within the scoreline. Just the creativity coming on, but the speed was immense and the pressure they put on Zypher Green was much better from the last game where they played too calm and pass or yeah passive i would say in defense especially 
be back with you shortly for game number three. Game three underway here. One one in of the series. Pads playing the ball up over to Rayman. Rayman now trying to play the ball up, but Ked is there. Duck with a nice little clear potential opportunity still for Zypher Green. Off onto the backboard. Duck is there to clear it, however. Flat rushing himself back. Ked and Duck with a nice pinch. Rayman waiting for the ball as it rolls up onto a ceiling. Tries to play it to Duck, but he doesn't get the drop that he wanted on it. Thomas pinching that back to Ked, and he can't quite reach the opportunity. Rayman missing, but Duck is there to secure it. Flavin playing it high and to the side. Very unfortunate for Zypher Green here. As Duck demos pad, and Thomas races to the ball, plays it to Duck, but Ked is there to block it, plays it into the center. Thomas swiftly blocking it himself, pads, bit of miscommunication it seems, and Duck trying to play that down and away, but the amount of pressure that Zypher Green put it on, it seems pretty impressive, say after the second game, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I mean, I think the problem is Zypher White have almost calmed down once again, as I was talking about it in the first game it happened, and they're kind of thinking, oh, we won the first, uh, second game 8 or 9 nil, 8 nil. why can't I think now? But, uh, Know. They're kind of calming down a bit and slowing the pressure down, and I think that's really helping Zypher Green push on and get the shots in which they need to take the lead. Um, do you, does Rayman just not able to get reach the angle there? Thomas playing that low in front of the player and they get the first goal. I think Flavin was really close to that. The shot quite weak, but two players pre-jumping that, sending them away from the goal area. There we have Thomas taking lead for Zypher White to get maybe a game advantage. Indeed, three minutes and counting remaining. Ads trying to get the ball into the center. Ked is there, but Duck plays it over him. Rayman trying to play it into the center. Light tap. Thomas can't quite reach the ball. Duck now flicking the ball high over Ked. Trying not to waste any boost. Ads playing the ball down. Thomas dancing on top of the ball, it seemed, and Flavin pinching that towards Pads. Can he reach it? He can. Gets the cut, and it's in. A good quick play there from Zyfe Green. Flavin with the good pinch off the corner, bouncing awkwardly off the back wall. Pads there. And just Raymond with no boost, I believe, trying to hook around it. Couldn't quite happen. The equaliser is here. Indeed. Equaliser with, again, three minutes just under remaining and Ked playing the ball down into the center an opportunity here but Duck gets a clear flab and they're playing it onto the backboard Pads potentially following it up does but Rayman was there to block it Duck now pinching it with flab and Thomas waiting patiently as Ked plays it off onto the backboard Pads with an opportunity with Raymond playing it upfield Ked trying to play it away from Thomas who's latched himself onto the ball Duck playing it across potentially Onto the backboard, swiftly blocked however, Rayman playing it into Thomas who gets a nice shot, Flavin there with the first block. Rayman 
unable to get an opportunity following up. But the pull <laughs> just bounces in with Riemann securing it. What happens here from Zyph Green? Keds is just missing it, flapping, rotating forward moles too quickly there. Raymond with the open net to put it into, really unpressured, and Zyph White retake the lead here, the chance to get this game going. Yes, a 2 1 game, one goal deficit, two minutes remaining. Rayman trying to get the ball into the center. Ball's been cleared by Ked. Thomas driving him out of the way. Rayman getting a flick over Flabben, but Pads is there, takes a shot, goes over Doug Flabben, stealing the goal. Yeah, and the miss hit at the back once again, causing another goal in this match. Flabben just to get another goal there, locking it in. The work done by Pads to get the equalizer though. Indeed, minute and 45 counting remaining. Flabben playing the ball up, playing, trying to play it back to Pads, but Thomas goes straight for the bump. Raymond playing it upfield, tries to get it over Ked, and he does. Yeah. Zypher White team taking lead once again. Raymond with the time and space to go for it twice. The pressure on the potential demo going in from the attack player as well, giving him a bit more time and good play from Zypher White to take the lead again. In Indeed, Thomas playing the ball across, but Ked is there. Ray Raymond playing it over one. Flabben can't reach it the second time. Duck missing. Thomas playing it too high. Opportunity there for Cypher White, it seems, was wasted. Ked playing the ball across the side with zero boost now. Gets a nice little dribble, misses the demo. Thomas getting Flabben in instead. Now the ball played into the center. Duck looks like he's going to follow it up. Ked. Gets the ball placed just over him. Flabben play, playing himself sideways. Can't quite reach the ball. Pads now playing the ball on to the side. The goal still remaining for Zypher Green to get. And Ked gets a nice touch. Tries to flick it over Thomas. Rayman just missing. Ked opportunity. Can't quite get there. How do you think Zypher Green need to get this goal, Havoc? Well, I mean, they're pushing very well and they're doing the right things at the moment. Getting the plays forward very quickly and trying to play it out to their teammates. But Zyph White are just always there and they're playing a bit passively. So Zyph Green just needs to do a bit more to take out one or two of the defence when attacking. Indeed, Rayman playing the ball. Cross to no one, it seems. Only Ked who gets the clear, but Thomas playing it down to pads. Getting blocked by Thomas. Flavin going for a pinch. Tries to get around one, he does, but Rayman is there. Pads now playing it upfield, an opportunity here. Off onto the backboard, four seconds. Ked gets the goal, three seconds remaining, and it's 3-3. And that's what I was talking about. Pads playing it on the backboard so awkwardly, it was hard for Thomas to reach, and Rayman just had to pre-jump it. Ked pretty much an open net from that original pass from Pads, and they get the equaliser here with only three seconds left, and maybe something could happen in regulation time. Um. Indeed, overtime has hit 3-3, the clock begins, the ball just getting awkwardly left on the wall, off of Duck, an opportunity for Pads, he plays it low and an early goal. Yeah, the quick play going in, the mistake of the clear being weak and Thomas just not really playing that calmly enough, he could have waited a bit longer but... Zypher Green take the lead here after that huge defeat last game. They have the chance next game to take the series as well. I, mean, I think it was just the overall pressure from Zypher Green compared to the last game which gave them the win here. We'll have to see how they do next game which will be here shortly.
fourth game, almost a third, fourth game underway. Zypher Green on a 2-1 lead at the moment. Thomas with the Batmobile, it seems. Rayman trying to play the ball underneath all three players that jumped for the save, but the goal didn't go in, thankfully. Thomas playing the ball up and out. He gets it over the next player. Can he get around the last? The ball played into the center. Ked there to save it, but misses. Flabben, thankfully, recovers, pinches it, but Thomas is there. Looks like he's going for a second touch. Can't quite reach it. Ked with the clear. Quite weak, however. Duck playing the ball high. Rayman is there. Looks like he's going to drop it oh, down. Oh, my <laughs> word. What an angle. Rayman taking that pass from Duck perfectly. Playing it down. I can see earlier on that he was going to go for that. He just took that perfectly into the roof from there. Unstoppable there. Zypher White taking the lead here early on as well. What a angle. 1-0 to Zypher White. Pad's playing that down to Ked. Tries to play it back up. Is anyone there for it? No, only Duck from the opposing team. Flabben playing that into the center. Rayman playing it onto the backboard. Another potential play. Duck plays it oh down to Thomas. God. These passing plays. Oh my word. Zypher White. What is happening? Like, the plays are perfect here. Duck down to Thomas. The finish of the open net. Duck's pass was perfect. They take a two goal lead here. They really need this to get back into it. Indeed, it definitely seems like Zypher White have just switched on a switch and are playing out of their skins. Duck playing that onto the backboard. Unfortunately, Rayman wasn't there, but the play didn't center. Thomas playing it onto the backboard himself. Pads couldn't reach it. Morgan Flabben, Morgan Ked, and Thomas with the zero boost pinches it in. Oh, just the creativity coming out from Zypher White. Really perfect in this occasion. Thomas just really taking double touch almost. I know it's a bit messy, but still managing to pinch it in. Three goals up. It's seeming like a good start for Zypher White in this game. Indeed, this could push it to a fifth game. Flabben playing the ball across, but Duck is there. Plays it down to Ked. Plays it over to Pads, but Rayman eagerly getting towards the ball. Ked playing the ball high. Duck reaching it before anyone else could and the ball played across to the side rayman playing it high into the air duck just missing the ball falling towards the right half ball played into the center but rayman clears it well flabber just getting the save but an opportunity here for rayman but ked getting the save thomas couldn't quite reach it. Flavin playing it down into the center. Duck with a nice clear. Thomas looking like he has zero boost. Getting a bump on Flavin who just about clears it. Not well enough as Rayman takes a shot. But Pads is there. Duck missing. Thomas getting the boost. Rayman getting the bump. Opportunity as Ked misses. Rayman gets the flick over Flavin. And Pads playing it away. But not well enough. Duck getting the demo. Abin getting... Just Duck going for a double demo. Can he get a third, potentially? Goes for the ball f with an angle. Pads with a weak clear. Tries to play it for Rayman, but Rayman eagerly gets towards the ball, and it surpasses him. Opportunity there for Pads, but Duck and Thomas were both there in the nick of time. Flabin playing it across to the side, but Duck missing ball wide regardless Thomas rushing towards it and getting rid of it Duck opportunity to flick it gets it not around Flavin Thomas getting it over him this time tries to get over Ked he does do so tries to get it underneath pads but he can't regardless Duck getting the fourth goal yeah, and once again it's one of those games where Zypher White seems to be running away and it's all about the confidence they've got Flavin just not really going for the ball Duck following up and pushing it into the half open net Get the fourth goal here with minute and 43 left. Indeed, this deficit looks dangerous. It's not as bad as the 8 0 in the second game, but it's definitely a bad one nonetheless. Duck with an opportunity. Plays it out by Flabber. An opportunity for them to get a goal. Plays it high. 
I don't think he... I think he thought he could get it with the first jump instead of double jumping and keeping it as low as he could. Ked with an opportunity to play it forwards. He does pads trying to tap it down like Rayman did, but Rayman there to block it regardless. The ball off the ceiling. Duck playing it out to the side. Rayman now playing it high into the air. Pads there to block it. It's an open net, it seems. Can Duck get there in time? No, it's just off the post. Ked down the crossbar. Rayman missing. Thomas trying to clear it. Duck with an opportunity to. Flabbard blocking him. Pads getting it hit over him. Ked just hitting it high. But Rayman and Duck. Great play to get the fifth goal. Well, the bump up from Duck just to finish it off was perfect once again. Rayman just knowing exactly where he'd be. Duck with the pop over Flabbard into the open net. And really consistency is the key here and it's not really happening for both teams you know both of them are having one game where they're doing well and one game where they're not they need to fix that indeed they do 35 sacks remaining duck looks like he's going for it this time rayman with an opportunity the team plays are just out of this world yeah it's all about the confidence you know they get the first couple of really skilled plays and they're off and it's really shown here how they're just getting the goals often, and they're having these shots which are unsavable really from Zypher Green. You know, Zypher Green just need to push a bit more and try and counter these before it's actually a threat. Indeed, Ked now with an opportunity blocked by the players' pads. Playing it to the side, trying to get it around Duck, who just leaves the ball. And an opportunity for him now. Raymond missing, and I think the Zypher Green expected him to hit it. I've just got to see what happens here. We see two of the Zypher Green in front of the ball. Ked's just not really reacting quick enough, and maybe it's another setup for an 8 0 win and a repeat of game number two, but we'll have to see here. And they indeed put it to an 8 0. Or oh, can that Zypher Green hold on tight and make sure this deficit isn't as big as it was in the second game? 10 seconds remaining. Ked with a block, and it's an 8 0 game. I just spoke too soon. Yeah. <laughs> Carlson's curse here, but mm -hmm. Thomas with the great touch to fake out one, Ked getting 50 making him go flying, Raymond with the open net and they're eight up here once again with six seconds left and it's definitely a Zypher white win here in game number five looming. Indeed, unless they can somehow get eight goals in two seconds, no it's not likely and it's definitely a Zypher white win. Yeah, and it was just great to see that game, the creativity coming out, the passing plays, those really skilled shots, almost like a freestyling team at the end of that, but it's great to see from them to get the 8-0 victory as well doing that. We'll have to see what happens in game number five, the deciding match here, if the consistency stays or not between the two sides shortly. Game 5, finally underway. Let's see how this one will pan out. Two big goal games and Fabin getting an early goal. Yeah, they definitely don't want to repeat game number 2 or 4, but once again, I was talking about the consistency and Zypher won't let flip after their great performance last game out. Zypher Green taking the lead early on and setting it up well for the rest of the match. Ked with a good kick off. It seems that Rayman is the only one there for the ball. However, pads taking a touch. Gets around one. Around the second. Plays it to Ked who tries to get around the third. 
Duck with a great pinch clear, it seems. Flabben, who looks like he changed card for this game, as, as have a lot of the other players, it seems, or at least a few. Ked playing the ball upfield. Thomas is there, misses the ball, so does Duck, but he gets gain, gets to gain control. Once again, Flabben missing. Pads playing it into the center. Thomas can't quite reach it himself. Duck playing the ball with a nice shot in the top corner. Yeah, great finish from Duck there to get it out of an awkward position. You just saw two players go for it, ball side. It looked like it could be very risky, but Duck with the finish. To get the equalizer here, and I'm hoping for a close game here to end it off. Indeed, this does look like the start of a very close game. In the matter of a minute, it's already 1-1. Ked playing the ball up to Flabberton, who just misses the ball. Pads with an opportunity. Thomas swiftly blocking him. Ked about to get demoed by Rayman, but jumps over and hits the ball still. Rayman flicking the ball forwards. Pads is there. Takes a pass across to Ked. Looks like he's going to play it over Thomas. He can't do so. Flabberton gets a touch. Tries to get it over one. He can't do so. Pads couldn't reach it either. Thomas. Trying to get the clear, gets it over one, but all of the Zypher green players are back, almost faking Ked. Flavin playing it upfield. Ked not quite able to get that towards the net. Flavin with an opportunity to play it to Pads. He does the ball off onto the ceiling. Pads with a nice extra touch, but Duck is there to stop it. Pads playing a ball back into the center. Rayman, the only one it. Duck, can he reach it? He can. Plays it back to Rayman, who has zero boost. Tries to play it into Duck. You can't quite get the angle. Pads playing the ball upfield. Doesn't quite get it. Towards the center. Flavin with Duck playing it into the center. And Flavin just taking his time. Missing the boost, unfortunately. Now with zero. Goes underneath one. Can't get the ceiling shot or the ceiling pass that he wanted. Ked plays it wide. Pads is there just missing. Ked playing it back across to the center, but... He can't get it to anyone. Rayman playing it into the center himself. Flavin playing it across goal. Dangerous here for Zypher White as they slowly have a counter-attack looming against them. How do you think either of these teams need to get an upper hand, Havoc? Well, I mean, especially it's game five. Both teams are playing quite passively. Zypher Green almost being the better, having the better rotation of the two. As we've seen Zypher White have been on the same side of the ball quite often, all three players being near and around the ball. I mean, if Zyphe Green could just make that one pass to get it out of where it is, then it might be quite an easy open net for them. Indeed, it might. Adds just unable to get the angle. Ked playing it across. Thomas there to block it. Flavin missing. Duck trying to go for a pass, but Thomas is there trying to demo. Rayman thankfully getting there in the end, but he couldn't hit it on target. Opportunity as Ked plays that upfield. Pads is there, so is Ked, both with the 50. Thomas reaching it over the one. Ked there to block it, but Duck tries to get it over the next. Can't do so. Ked playing it into the center. No one was there to reach it, unfortunately. Played high. Thomas there to get another touch. Duck with a nice little bit of control. And can he get the second goal? Thomas there to save it. Good play there from Thomas overall. Double touch off the ceiling there, and then the bump coming in on the goalkeeper. He just finishes it off as well. Zypher White take the lead with not too long left. It is enough time, however, for Zypher Green to get one back, but we'll have to see here how it pans out in the end. Indeed, Pads playing the ball in to the centre almost. Blocked by Duck, who's demoed by Flabben. Rayman with a nice bit of control, gets it around one, around the second. Thomas is there with a nice bit of a flick, gets it over one himself. Pads, re-jumping and getting the block, tries to get it over Duck, but Duck is there to block it. Thomas playing it off into the centre. Duck with an opportunity and it's an open net. Yeah, there's a mountain to climb here for Zypher Green. Zypher White taking this into their own hands to play onto the corner. Duck having the good angle to push it into the open net. As we're saying, two goal cushion with 54 seconds left. It's looking unlikely for Zypher Green to get back into this. Indeed. Opportunity potentially here. Duck there to block it. Pads getting blocked by Duck also. 
Blackhead can't back it in towards the net. Rayman with a shot and it's in. A free goal cushion here. They're running away with it. Keds just with an awkward touch and flapping with the miss. Rotation wasn't quite there either from the Zyphrop team. Also, players pushed up in the opposition half. Led to the goal, but they had to push forward there. It just ended up working against them. Indeed, Rayman. Then the ball up onto the side. <clears throat> oh, playing it. it looked like a fake from Flavin. Demoed. Ked from Thomas. Both players missing again. Flavin missing. Betting the hit. Dropping it down to Ked. An opportunity. Well worked goal. Yeah, it was a good play, but 20 seconds and two goals. Seemed unlikely it could happen. Duck had to commit to that. Unfortunately, it was a great pass. But Keds could finish that off, and Zypher Green have a slight chance here to get back into it. Indeed, they do. I mean, we've seen it here before. Not with the same teams, but definitely in the ECC. Pads playing the ball up onto the wall, plays it out into the center, tries to get one extra hit. Misses. It looks like a fake. Seven seconds, Ked with a nice little place. But he couldn't place the ball into the net. And it's a secured win for Zypher White. Yeah, and I feel like the plays they made and the creativity they had showed they kind of deserved the victory here in my eyes. And they were very inconsistent, though. That was a problem. They would have one game where they played very aggressively and very well in terms of attack. Then the next, they would almost calm down and sit back and kind of allow Zyphe Green to get back onto them. But well played in the end. Zyphe White with the victory. Indeed they did. We'll be moving on shortly to the next game of Zypher Green versus L Luxor Esports and to see who will reach it. Uh, no, no Zypher, Zypher White. Green, Zypher White, sorry. I was just, for some reason I thought I was trying to remember that the lower team won, but clearly it's not the case. Zypher White played very well. Like Havoc said, they were a bit inconsistent, but they did play out of their skins most of the time. Needless to say, the next game is Luxor versus Cypher White, and we'll be back with you shortly.
and we're back with the next game, Luxor Esports vs Cypher White. The winner goes into the final to meet Relevant Esports. What are your thoughts? I'm gonna start this. Um, Cypher White just put on an amazing performance against Cypher Green. <clears throat> Looks like we're lacking a bit in their first game, but I think the amount of time that they've had to properly warm up and change a bit of some tactics, I definitely think Luxor could prove to put on a good show, but overall I think Cypher White are going to win this 3-1. Yeah, and I agree a lot here. We saw Cypher White really play well in this match, and they really showed us what they can do with the goals they scored and the great team plays they had. And on the other hand, Luxor were very shaky in their first game, and like you said, they've had a warm-up, so they might be a bit better, but it's, they've had a break as well, Zypher White coming straight back into this, and I feel like it could be a 3-0 sweep here for Zypher White. Yeah, I feel like looks are uh, kind of the underdogs here. Although I really want to see them win, so I'm going to go with the underdog, and I see Luxor is going to take it, although it's going to be pretty close. Yes, indeed. We will try and get this game just done as start sorry as soon as possible we'll be back with you quite shortly Game one about to get underway here. Again, as Timmy said, looks up being the underdog's duck, taking his time with the ball, but Rattles really pushing on towards it. Thomas playing the ball high. Rayman is there, tries to play it back down to Thomas. A little bit of a passing play, the ball's back up into the air. duck, down to Rayman. Rayman just missing. That passing play was well, well worked. Ball over to Rayman. Can't quite reach it. Pichu playing the ball down, Rayman playing a ball centre. Not sure which team he's meant to be playing on at the moment, but Duck playing the ball. Trying to get into the centre, he can't with the zero boost. Rattles gets it under uh, Rayman. Tries to get it into the centre to a teammate, but Thomas reaches it before anyone. Duck playing that ball high off onto the backboard. Nice little pinch between Rattle. Pichu. Nice little clear, but Thomas is there, eagerly trying to beat it. It's a battle of the Batmobiles, which is better. Needless to say, Duck with a great carry over one. Can't quite get it over Rattles, however. Thomas with an opportunity. Gets completely denied by Rattles, who tries to get a pass across to Razzle. But the ball now from Duck. Always... Getting that on target, it seems. Or at least getting the clears very well placed. Rayman tra trying to get the ball into the center. Pichu with a nice clear. Thomas playing the ball high. Razzle playing it back down. No one is there, unfortunately. Duck dribbling it away. Doesn't get it towards the goal as Pichu gets it blocked, but he's there with an opportunity. Rayman. Gets it, bottom corner. Yeah, the expected lead here from Zypher White, but it's been quite slow, and I think the fact that Luxor were much more passive than Zypher Green were, so Zypher White have to adjust here, and maybe the play style of Luxor could counter them in some sense here. Indeed, it is very possible, but within the first two minutes, the first goal is scored. Rattles, an opportunity to get it on target, Rayman. Locking it, Thomas getting the clear. Pichu back in net. Tries to demo. Rayman it seems from Razzle, but Thomas with a nice angle. In. Yeah, the great pressure there from Zypher White. The pass across the duck, the 50 going straight back to Thomas with the open net. They have a two goal lead here and they're starting. How I really expected them to, just really putting on the pressure, getting the goals which they have done so far. Indeed, the ball now to a man who rolls it up to the ceiling. Pichu there to block it. Thomas, 50 on rattles. Razzle waiting 
looks like he's going to go for a demo on Duck, decides to back away. Pichu playing the ball center with the help of Duck, but it goes towards Rayman. Plays it back towards Duck, who tries to get across. Rayman plays the ball high, looks like he's going to hook down slightly. It does, and he's there, waiting for it. Tries to play it into the center. Not quite do so. Opportunity here. Pichu trying to get it, push it towards the opposing net, but it just doesn't seem like it's getting out of this corner. Rattles playing the ball out, trying to get it over Thomas. He does. P Pichu looks like he's just sitting back almost, expecting opportunity. Double demo it was just a moment ago. I'm not sure who between. Thomas, though, getting a demo on Pichu. Duck. Trying to make his way back as Razzle plays a nice shot. Thomas there, thankfully. Pichu with a nice placement just into the top corner, however. Rattles. I think that was trying to play out and away. The ball off the post. Rayman getting the third goal. For Again, 3 nil up here. Thomas on the end of the pass from Duck. The post hits unfortunate, but it rolls perfectly to Rayman. I think all three of Zyphe White's goals come from a deflection off something, giving them an open net. They're really taking the free attacking players forward very well and getting this lead because of it. Indeed, with a minute and a half still remaining, it does look like Zyphe White are going to secure this first game. Ball played into the centre, rattles, and then Razzle getting rid of it. The ball almost getting an angle. Pichu with a save, but Thomas is there. Yeah, four goals up here. The clear was really weak for no one there to really clean it up from Lux or Eva, but both players caught up at the same post as well. Just really poor defensive end. But fourth goal here. Indeed, a minute and 15 seconds. Razzle play it up to Rattles. He can't quite reach it. Ball off the crossbar. Rattles trying to get the clear. Pichu. Doing so himself. Opportunity as the ball bounces down. Is anyone there? Rattles is up, but he doesn't get the power or the angle that he wanted. Razzle playing the ball off the backboard. Both Rayman and I believe that was Thomas there. Trying to play the ball to Duck. Razzle gets it over one. Can't quite get over Duck. Rattles trying to get it around Rayman. He does kind of do so with the 50. Duck taking his time. Gets it under Rattles. Pichu playing it off onto the backboard. Trying to go for it himself. Drops it down, Razzles there, plays it just on the backboard himself. Thomas tries to clear it, Razzles keeping up the pressure. Tries to play it into the center. Is anyone there? Pichu just unable to reach it, Rattles. Playing the ball high and to the side. Duck is there to beat him, 15 seconds remaining. This looks like an inevitable win for Zypher White. Eight, seven, ball played high. Rattles trying to get it over to Razzle, the ball dropping down, one second, and it's a win for Zypher White. Yeah, and the great start from Zypher White, starting how they finished last game of their series against Zypher Green, but, you know, Luxor's clears weren't with it at the beginning. In the end, they managed to get it high into the wide areas, which really helped them not concede a fifth, but they just need to play a bit quicker and not have so many mistakes in the defensive half be back with you shortly for game number two here. Two about to get underway here between Luxor Esports and Zyphe White. That's right, outstanding victory in game number one from Zyphe White. 
what nil victory and hopefully they can keep going the same here indeed razzle trying to play the ball <clears throat> into the center rattles there gets it around thomas tries to get around rayman fortunately he can't quite do so pichu forcing himself back as the ball slowly makes its way towards his net rattles trying to play in between duck and rayman can't quite get it done so pichu playing the ball high still thomas the only one to even attempt to reach the ball Rayman flicking it over. Can Duck get the angle? He's got one. He can't quite get the second, but Thomas is there to secure it. Yeah, and Razzle thought, or I think he thought that Duck would get the double touch, so he over pre-jumped it to try and get the block there, and Thomas has had the opportunity where he could play it under, which he did perfectly. The lead is established early on from Zypher White. Indeed, within a matter of 50 seconds, roughly, and rattles play the ball up to Pichu. Actually, the <clears throat> D didn't go necessar necessarily English. Never mind. Razzle trying to play the ball upfield, but Rayman with a goal. Yeah, in the open net there from Rayman. Pichu to Razzle didn't quite work out, and it meant that no one was back. Rayman with the open net. The rotation wasn't quite there from Luxor once again. They really need to sharpen up on that. Luxor seem to be may have a player in defense, but just system enough. Pichu trying to play the ball to Rattles. Rayman is there to block it. And second time tries to go for Pichu for a third. Razzle there to clear it. Tries to play it down the line around Rayman. Can't reach it around. However, Thomas there to clear it. Rattles playing it down. Rayman. Can't get it around players, but Thomas trying to clear it. Razzle there to block it. Rayman with a good clear. Can Duck follow it up? He can. He's played it around one. Can he play around the second? He's gone for a bump on Pichu. Actually, he couldn't quite get it how he wanted it to. Ball up, and Rayman couldn't quite reach it. Duck. Looks like he's going to challenge this, but the ball bounces down to Rattles, who... Keeps it high, unfortunately. So both players were up for it regardless. Duck looks like he's going to try and play across, but Pichu is there to block it. Rayman dropping it down. Razzle there. Duck this time. Blocked by Pichu. Ball played into the center by Rattles, it seems. Opportunity now as Rattle plays it high. Pichu playing it across to no one, unfortunately. There he's up. He's able to follow it up, but. Rattles can't himself. Rayman missing. Thomas now following it up. Tries to get a flick it seemed, but Pichu was there to block it. Duck. Fall, gets it over one. Can he get it over the next? He can. He gets the angle. Can the, Rayman finish it? Yes, he can. It's a great pass out for Duck to beat Rattles on the return. Just a redirect nearly hitting the top corner. Rayman there to finish it up. The attacking play. Zypher White is continuously go good up so without a goal in this series so far. Indeed, the looks uh, definitely need to step up something in their game to get them a goal, let alone the a win. Two minutes remaining, it's 4-0 now. Yeah, Thomas with a second goal of the game, Duck. With the shot, the miscommunication, two players for no one back in there. Thomas with a good, calm, collected shot to finish it off. 4 0 here with two minutes left. There's enough time and room for more goals. Indeed, two minutes. Could this game possibly go to an 8 0 that Zypher White seem to lovingly go to when they're dominating in the game? Thomas trying to get it over Razzle. He does try to get it over Rattles, and he does. What an air dribble. Yeah, great play there from Thomas. The original fake opportunity. Realised no one was going for it. Razzle not able to reach it. And the 50 with the length of the Batmobile. Just to push it into the top corner. Make it 5 here. It's pretty much no room for comeback once again. Zypha White doing this over and over again. Indeed. Now Razzle trying to get rid of the ball. But it just passes it to Rayman. Another goal. It's gone in the net. 
tournament's just shown that Zyfe White can open teams up and completely finish them, finish them off early on. 6-0 up here against what we thought could be favourites of this tournament at the beginning. It's still got 1 minute 41 left to get some more and bag some more confidence going into game number 3. Yes, it does seem so. <clears throat> Rattles trying to play the ball out. He drew there to block Rayman, but Rattles getting bumped. Razzle taking the ball. He's getting around the next. A minute and a half remaining. Thomas getting a demo on Razzle. Puts him in a better defensive position, it seems. Duck playing the ball high. Pichu getting it over one. Not quite Rayman and open net, it seems. Thomas, can he finish it? No, unfortunately, he can't. Blocked by Rattles. Duck playing it across, trying to get a bump on Razzle. Razzle now faking Rayman, it seems. Thomas just waiting for him to do something and gets the boost also. Duck taking control of the ball as he plays it across the other side of his net. Thomas, nice pinch. Duck with not much boost, goes for a flip reset. Just blocked by Rattles, unfortunately. Rayman plays the ball up, bounces inside. Thomas playing it up himself, but Rattles there to block it. Duck playing the ball down from the little curve at the top by the ceiling. Rayman playing it to Thomas, who can't quite reach the ball. Razzle unable to clear it. Pichu, opportunity to save it. He does neglect the opportunity for Duck. Rattles and Razzle both missing 10 seconds remaining. It may not seem a quite an 8 0, but it's a 6 0 currently and consistently. Yeah, and just that game, the rotation from Luxor was not there. It's very narrow in terms of what they were doing. They really need to spread out a bit, get wider rotations, and to hook back into the back post and get saves. But Zypher White really doing well to push on that error and get six goal win here find out what happens in game number three in a few moments God, I've just noticed what Luxor have just <laughs> Luxor have gone for their last hope with their their <laughs> this is I've played them whilst they've been like this. Uh, Frattles with the scarab, all wearing the clown the clown hat, whatever it is. Got lemon wheels and the pie decal with an antenna. I'm not sure which one. I'm completely put off guard. The Merc. Oh god. Any, anyway, Rayman trying to play the ball away from Rattle. Doesn't quite get it. Pichu playing it low and Thomas playing into the center. Is this the secret that looks I had the trick up their sleeve to help them win a game? Hopefully it is. It would be pretty impressive. Razzle playing the ball up with immense power from the Merc. <laughs> uh, I can't. <laughs> I thought we'd trying to take over a little bit. Okay, <laughs> Razzle finishing forward for Luxor, but Thomas pushing in to get the clear. Peachy with the shot, maybe going into an open net, Duck with the clear off line. Just pushing it out wide. Raymond forward, Duck into the middle. Great passing play, Thomas not able to push it towards net though. Seeming like it's going to be no one here for a while. Neither team really punishing the other in terms of position and shots but we have Luxor pushing forward once again. <clears throat> Pichu going forward into the middle. 
playing it down and it's not quite there, Roman. Just keeping the ball in possession for Zypher White side here. Indeed. Rattles now taking an opportunity. Pichu following it up shortly. Rayman playing the ball high to Thomas. Thomas now getting a nice angle off the crossbar. Rattles with a great pinch, it seems. Tried to clear it, but the ball is still in their half. Thomas trying to get it underneath the one. He can't quite do so. Duck with an opportunity to shoot. Razzle saves it. Pichu also. Razzle now getting the good clear. Thomas playing it up to Rayman, who's playing it or trying to into the center. Rattles playing the ball. Off the backboard. Duck. The good clear. Thomas trying to gain control. Get it over Razzle. This has definitely proven to be a good strategy or uh, somehow against Zypher White as it's a nil-nil game after the dominant, dominating performance they posed last game. Razzle can't quite get it away as Thomas is there. Nice little air dribble, tries to get over Pichu, doesn't get it done so. Duck plays it up high, tries to reach it, Razzle getting a clear ball, falling to Thomas, playing it high himself. Razzle, the one to reach it. Rayman missing the ball. Duck, thankfully there to get the save. Duck, again, trying to hit the ball under Pichu, but he was there to read that. Thomas trying to clear it, can't quite reach it. <clears throat> Pichu, the good save. Razzle, upfield opportunity. Pichu plays it high. Rayman now trying to get the clear. Thomas. Looks like he's going to try and go for a pass. Razzle there gets it around both players. Pichu backing away as Rattles takes the shot. Duck with a good save. Pichu playing it up. Thomas playing it back across field. Razzle playing it to Duck who plays it to Thomas. Tries to get the angle. Right, reach it. Rattles playing it to Razzle. Razzle now trying to gain control of the ball. But Thomas is there to block it. Rattles trying Get it around and Rayman with another demo, it seems. Rayman missing the ball shortly after Pichu. Missing and an opportunity here, but Thomas hits it high. Rayman missing the ball. Pichu with a nice goal opportunity. 50 seconds remaining. Yeah, and 1 0 here to Luxor in their first goal of the entire series. Pichu a bit fortunate there deflection off the opposition before he gets the finish and with the strats working you know getting the attention off the ball of the opposition onto the cars instead indeed 45 seconds now Rayman looking like he's gonna have to try and put in a shift the ball falls to Thomas Thomas with a shot and it's in thankfully they've gotten the equalizer yeah Zoe for white having none of it Razzle with the weak clear down the center once again Pichu stuck at the back post he couldn't do much Thomas just reading that and playing it into the opposite corner. They get the equaliser just seconds after Luxor's open goal. This is within seconds after the goal. Seconds remain in the game. Could this possibly be an end almost for Luxor? Thomas trying to play it around the one. He can't get it around Pichu. Razzle with an opportunity on a pass, but Duck is there to save it. Rattles waiting patiently. Rayman flicking it high. Can Thomas reach it? He can. He places it too far wide. Pichu getting around the ball. Thomas trying to play it into the center. Rattles getting it over one. Duck with the opportunity. Misses. It hits the post. Pichu. Three seconds. Duck the one to keep it up. Is he going to try and dribble it around? No. Pichu's there to block it. Very dangerous now. Is he going to just try and let it drop? Yes, they are. It's 1-1. One, one. The clock count up now ball played down by Razzle Duck over to Thomas Thomas looks like he's going to try and get this goal tries for a flip reset he gets it just doesn't bump Pichu who gets the save Rayman on his way towards the ball looks like he's going to try and stop the boost no he just ignores it gets it around one can't quite get around Pichu however opportunity, opportunity for Duck to clear it he does can't quite get it around Razzle however Ball pinched by Thomas. Pichu playing the ball high, but Thomas the only one to reach it. Off the sidewall. Razzle the only one to even attempt for the ball. 
plays it to Duck, who gets a good clear. Looks like he's going to try and get a play. Rayman with the first demo. Is he going to try and get another? No, unfortunately, the ball is stopped dead in its tracks. But I believe that was Rattle, Razzle or Pichu. Needless to say, an opportunity for Duck to drop it down again. Thomas, Rayman's there. Ball slowly trickling in. Razzle with the save. A minute gone. Rayman with a great little hit. And it's 2 1. Oh, Razzle just coming out of the heavens there, really. I wasn't expecting that at all, the save. And Rayman with the delayed flick just to turn it into the goal. And we get the clean sweep here, as we really kind of predicted. Indeed, Zypher White winning. As me and have predicted, unfortunately, the underdog story is cut there. Next game up will be Zypher White being having to play three games in a row. They definitely will. A strong, strong chance. We back with that game against Irrelevant Esports very shortly.
Hello everyone, we are back with the grand final between Irrelevant Esports and Cypher White. Cursed Wolf, what do you think about the last series? Um, Cypher White and so very intense game. But needless to say, it was clear that Cypher White were going to win it. I mean, Luxo had a bit of a bad spell. Even the switch of cars couldn't do it for them, unfortunately. But um. Next, we'll have Cypher White against Irrelevant Esports. Have a Well, for this matchup, I'm just kind of thinking about Cypher White's real lower bracket. They've gone fully through the lower bracket. They've ended up here in the grand final versus Irrelevant. Irrelevant sweeping Luxor and the same with Cypher White. So both teams can have really done the same thing here. And I'm not too sure how this is going to end up because they've got quite different play styles. And I'm not sure how they're going to fare against each other. But I'm really hoping for a fifth game and a five-game series here. Maybe three, two to Zypher White here as they've shown us a lot of what they can do today. Indeed. I mean, we're having a bit of connection issues with the fans. I'm unfortunate there. But um, relevant esports, getting themselves that top bracket win. So after just beating um, looks uh, early on the, today, it was clear to see they were going to wait a while until they meet their final opponents, being Zypher White. Um, and for this matchup, 
Um, I'm not sure how to go about my prediction. It's going to be quite a... I want to say it's going to be a quite a close game. But um, I think overall, Zoyf will take it and win the Collider Cup. Well, I believe Irrelevant Esports have played Cypher White before in the Collider Cup in the upper bracket and they beat Cypher White 2 to 1 and sent them down to the lower bracket. So I believe that could be the case again and Irrelevant Esports is going to take it 3 to 1. Havoc? Did you, yep. you want to give yours? Oh, uh, it said already about Zyph White winning 3-2 ah. probably and you know the lower bracket run which they've had even though they did get knocked down by Irrelevant shouldn't fare too much of an issue so they've had a lot of practice today three games in a row especially Irrelevant having a good hour and a bit gap between the two games indeed I mean um, one of the players is just let me it's going to take roughly a maximum time of five minutes so given that we've given all our predictions and it's going to be a close game with um, an esports and Cypher White, in my opinion. I'll be back with you all quite shortly. Game one of the grand finals about to get underway here with Irrelevant Esports and a side for White Duck trying to get an early shot going there. Crocker with a nice save. And have a throughout the entirety of the Collider Cup. Which out of these two teams, or which players out of these two teams do you think have been the most predominant? Well, especially off today, from what I've seen, Irrelevant's player of Mr. Karaka has been very outstanding for me, he scored a lot of their goals and has really shown himself in the matches, or the match today especially, but in terms of Zyph, they're really overall a good team together. Thomas has been in the end of a few goals, Raymond and Duck especially as well, with a lot of the passing plays which they have in the team. And <laughs> Irrelevance with an early lead here, the open net from Leo, just to finish it off, 
good start to the grand final from them. Indeed. One minute just undergone. And it's already 1-0 to relevant esports. As Timmy said, they did manage to win against Cypher White. So this could possibly be their kryptonite. <clears throat> Thomas going up for the ball. Takes one touch. Can't quite get around Leo. Ejap there trying to play a pass down to Leo, but unfortunately can't get there. Crocker taking his time, playing it to the side. The ball now going just over the goal crossbar. And Leo playing it back down. Ball now hits side. And Crocker playing it high to Leo, who drops down. Crocker now trying to play it off the backboard. Can't quite reach the goal that they want. Ejap now playing it down to Leo, who's trying to play it back with a pinch from Thomas. Nice shot, but just over the crossbar. Ejap playing that back towards the goal. Thomas with the zero boost gets it under one. Can't quite beat the crocker to the ball. An opportunity for Leo. Plays it high. Can anyone follow it up? No, Duck is there. Clears the ball, but Ejap is already pushing back up. Ball played down. It looks like it's going to bounce back up by Crocker. Opportunity here as he plays it on to the backboard, but Duck is the only one to reach it before it even gets time to bounce. Thomas with a nice little angle and he gets the goal. Yeah, the good finish there from Thomas to equalize it up. Brilliant clear from Duck to play it over Leo. Almost a fake shot originally going into the touch after the bounce. Really faking out Ejap a bit. And three minutes left, one all here. Both teams starting pretty strong. Indeed, Rayman going to the ball. Trying to get an early cross, but Leo blocks him off shortly. Crocker playing the ball up and out, but Duck is there already. Tries to get around him, but Crocker with a great save. Ready, half the game. Gone, and it's 1-1. Duck back up onto the wall with the ball. Plays it up into the center. Ejap's there, plays it high. Hits the ceiling. Thomas can't read it, and Leo gets the goal. Yeah, I feel like Zypher having a bit of troubles in terms of rotation. A bit hesitant. Thomas trying to read that Leo. Pretty much the open net there, as there's no one rotating back into goal. Relevant starting very well. Zypher just needs to calm down a bit and get back to how they usually play. Indeed. Rayman with a nice little hit there, but Ejap clears it. Duck off to the crossbar. Thomas unable to reach it with Crocker taking control of the ball, but Rayman is there, hits the ceiling. Leo stops the ball, but there's still an opportunity. Thankfully, Ejap was there to get rid of it. Duck playing the ball into the center. Is Thomas going to reach it? He can, but so can Ejap. Duck playing the ball high with Mr. Crocker. Rayman trying to play the ball back into the center. The only person there to reach it is Leo. Opportunity, but Thomas demos Crocker. Duck trying to get a flick over Ejap. He can't do so. Rayman with the zero boost. Trying to play it central. He does, and the ball tipped over. Duck bumping Crocker, but Leo with a great angle. Yeah, greatly or great redirect there. Great mechanics to get that as well. Leo just with a slight touch with the nose of his car to keep it low. Direct it into Bok Kong's net and have a two-goal cushion here for irrelevance. It started so well against the team who have been on good form in this tournament. Indeed. Rayman with a nice little tap down, but Crocker is there to block it. Thomas playing the ball back to Crocker, leaving it for him. Going up and getting the save. 3-1 with a minute and a half. Rayman trying to clear it. Ejap with an opportunity, but Thomas playing the ball. Over to Duck. Duck trying to play it as a cross. It rolls down. Crocker can't quite reach it. The ball floating over the net. And Rayman with a great angle. Yeah, he's out with a bit of a misread there. Crocker not clearing it well either. Duck with the good interception. Mm. Rayman with the angle to play it into the top corner. Get one back here. Got one minute 14 to get at least a goal. In Indeed, just over a minute remaining. One goal deficit and opportunity here for Rayman. He just hits it wide. Ejap tries to get over Thomas. Can't do so. Rocker trying to play it out. Rayman playing it into the center. Thomas. Leo with a little bit of a pre-jump. Quite risky. 
gets to save. Duck plays it into the center. Gets it. Can't quite get it over Ejap. Rayman missing. Crocker getting the save. All three players jumping up. Rayman with an opportunity to play it down. Duck is there. He floats it over two. He can't quite reach it. And Thomas gets the equalizing goal. Yeah, that goal was really imminent there. Shot after play after play towards the relevance net. And finally, Thomas there pinched down in for the equalizer. But great attacking offensive plays there from Zypher. They were always in relevance half, and relevance just couldn't get out of it as they had no boost. Indeed, Crocker now trying to play it towards the net, but an opportunity for Duck. Looks like no one was in net, but Egypt got back in time. Rayman secures the fourth goal. This game looked very one-sided, but it's definitely turned around. Yeah, the comeback has really happened. Egypt just trying a bit too hard to get that. Could have waited a bit longer and tried to push the rebound, but Rayman just in and getting the goal to put them ahead here with 28 seconds left to go. Indeed, 4-3. A one-goal deficit going the opposite way now this time. 20 seconds remaining. Crocker getting around Thomas. Playing it high. Gets it around Rayman. The ball looks like it's going to drop down. Duck in net. Leo playing it to Ejap who gets it over one. Ball dropping down. Crocker trying to block it. Can't quite get an opportunity. Crocker getting blocked by Thomas. Crocker now again going for a pass into the centre. Duck hits it down and Zypher White win the game, the first game. Yeah, the great turnaround there from being 3-1 down with winning that relevance. Had that one chance at the end, but hit the bar. It went down and was cleared, but a really strong performance from both. Irrelevance having the more consistent game, but Zypher with the mechanics to turn it around. Have to see what happens in game two here in the grand final shortly. Game one, about to get underway here. Game two, sorry. Leo, starting off early. Duck, trying to get the block. And Ejap, almost getting a sensible. Rayman getting a nice save. Brocker, just accidentally playing that out to Rayman. Ejap with a good block from it. Leo playing it up and over both players. Duck keeping it low, so no one from irrelevant esports can get to the ball. The ball now playing up high. Ejap trying to play the ball center. But Thomas is there. Now Rayman playing it over to Duck. Playing it onto the backboard. Can't quite reach the second hit. Thomas off onto the crossbar. Crocker trying to get an opportunity. Just leaving it and enough. A goal scored from Rayman. Yeah, real lack of communication there from Relevant. It's like Crocker and Leo just leaving the ball for each other. Raymond just able to come in, pounce on that open net. Zypher White take an early lead here. Have the chance to push forward for more. Indeed, in a matter of a minute, it's 1-0 to Zypher White. Duck getting the first hit into the second. Ejap swiftly blocking him, getting it over Rayman Thomas. Trying to take his time, allowing Duck to get back after being demoed. Rocker playing the ball into the center. Leo's there, tries to play it across. Duck there to block it. Leo now trying to potentially play it back. Ends up getting bumped into it. Thomas trying to get over to Duck, but Ejap is there to block it. Rayman. 
Can't quite get it to anyone. Leo playing it high. Ejap back down to Crocker. Saved by Duck. Very well worked there. Ejap playing ball towards Leo. Leaving it and he couldn't quite get the angle that he wanted. Crocker trying to play it across to Leo again. Duck trying to get the goal off of the bump from Rayman. Almost worked, but Crocker was there to save it. Leo playing the ball over to Ejap, who gets blocked by Rayman. Duck now with an opportunity. Backflips. Crocker plays it to Thomas anyway. Opportunity is Rayman. Gets a nice little angle. Ejap playing the ball down. Thomas opportunity as he plays it up and it rolls towards the net duck the ball Rayman as he takes it down tries to get across into the center Crocker blocking him Thomas taking his time can't quite get it around Crocker but Ejap is there all potentially going in with duck getting a comfortable save Leo dropping it down fortunately Thomas is there misses however Rayman Opportunity as he takes it around one, an open net, misses the ball, and Ejap saves it. Crocker demoing Thomas. Ejap, nice little dribble, flicks it over Thomas. Tries to get it to Leo, but blocked by Rayman. Now Thomas going for the demos, get it, gets one on Crocker. Rayman hitting it too hard for Duck to reach. Gets it over one. Ejap clearing it over the next. And she tries to play the ball to Crocker. Ball gets played up into the sky. The only people going for it is Leo, and he gets the goal. Yeah, the equaliser now coming in from relevant. Very close games at the moment. Both games seem to only have one or one goal in it this game. At its high at the moment, not much pressure on the relevance as the shot came in from Leo. He pounced on the mistake of rotation from Zypher. Indeed. Now it's a 1 1 game with a minute. And 40 seconds to go. Croc again, a demo on Duck trying to get to the ball. Leo good at, gets a good clear. Going Leo with a little bit of a bump and Duck getting blocked by Ejap. Croc with an opportunity. Plays it back accidentally trying to get it across. And Duck demoing Leo, which didn't look like it would have happened. Croc again, one demo and getting the goal himself. Little turnaround coming here from Relevance. Croc with a good hit. Over Rayman, who's really out for the demo, just ensuring that open net, the opportunity to make it two, which he did. Two, one minute and 24 seconds remaining. One gold deficit. And Duck takes a nice touchdown. Takes it up the wall around Ejap. Looks like he's going for a ceiling shot, but little do they know that he has zero boost. Thomas, looks like he's going to try and play a center. Ejap getting a demo on Rayman, so no one's there. Duck and Mr. Croc are getting a demo on each other. Leo trying to drop it down. Can't quite do so. Ejap is there. Blocked by Thomas. Mr. Crocker puts the ball up. Duck with the block. Thomas now. Over to Duck. Duck plays it high. Can Rayman get there? No. Ejap is there. Crocker. It's a nice little play on his own but he has zero boost so we can't make much of it thomas playing the cross to potentially rayman who's taken the ball tries to get around one but he can't get it around crocker thomas with a flick inside but leo with the save ejap playing the ball up and over rayman up onto the backboard is anyone there apart from thomas leo gets it but just not in time plays the ball back to crocker who gets the angle but he just can't quite reach it. It's eight seconds remaining and it's 2-1. This looks like a game for relevant esports. Zero seconds, the ball dropping down and it's a win. Yep, relevant taking the victory here. One all in the series. Much better, better performance from relevance, but just consistency from Zypher is still not fully there as they have won one, lost one. But even in game one, they didn't look the greatest they just need to try and push back to how they did in the two series before this match find out what happens in game number three shortly after
game three about to get underway here one Oof, unfortunately can't be with us for the final matches of the grand final but keep this going anyway raymond to start off strong for zypher got a bit of possession here with duck going into the middle flicking it onto the backboard awkwardly down the clear from leo secure it for relevance keep it nil nil teams defending pretty well in the early stages as duck plays it out onto the right bit of time here as thomas plays into the left it's quite risky though the shot comes in from duck the save not there the follow up into the top corner perfectly positioned thomas gives zypher white the lead in game number three potentially the game which could have an effect on the final score just the rotation there from Zyfelt. Too good for relevance. Led to that goal. Lee going into the middle. Going for the air dribble. Cleared away. Duck not able to get there. Crocker into the middle. Leo getting 50 out by Thomas. It's Zyfer staying in the lead. A good spell of defensive saves and clears. Redirecting backward. Leo's backwards. Quite awkwardly, but plays it out perfectly to Ejap. Really gets towards goal and pounces on the slow rotation, but the misplay, the shot comes in. Ejap needs to get the save. She just does onto the backboard. Rocker, maybe with time, pinches it into the middle perfectly. The shot coming in from Ejap, cleared away by Thomas. There's a lot of pressure going on by Irrelevance. Just need to keep this going. So at some point, Zypher aren't going to be able to handle it anymore. The fake from Duck, trying again with no boost. It's been quite awkward here. Raymond with the shot, cleared away by Leo. Staying here at 1-all. Game's open for anyone at the moment. Yep. Beaten to it by Thomas. Thomas with a good push there. Duck into the middle. But there's not really anyone there to follow up. And Kripka still going with it. Low on boost. Onto the backboard, cleared out, but demo is there. Double demo means that Zypher do have the time on their hands. Didn't spend that very wisely though. Raymond, the smart pass out to Duck, but Duck, low on boost, couldn't do anything with it. It's all quite messy at the moment in the corners. So neither team can do much with the ball in the attacking side. Thomas nearly being read by Ejap, but still no goal. It's been a couple of minutes here without anything happening. As both teams struggle to find an opening. Jap on to the left. Crocker with the pop over. Can Duck make it? No, he can't. It's into the top corner. Duck without boost. Equalizes here with just over half the game played. It's a lack of push there. In the Zypher team. It's an equal. Match with an equal series right now. Looking for anyone to take the lead in the game, potentially in the series as well. Raymond having to clear it from kickoff. Ejap into the corner to Leo. Leo back into the middle. Anyone pounce on it? Raymond doesn't have a boost. Still no one to finish it off though. Leo onto the wall, going for it again into the corner. Duck forward. Rockers low on boost and to help other ways sitting on. The pad on the mid left, but nothing's made of that attempt. Got Duck with the poor clear ends up going to pull his own net. Relevance can push forward. Ejap going for the shot onto the backboard. Almost a bit panicked from both teams here. So Relevance struggling to get it on target, and Zypher cannot get the ball away since Relevance got the equaliser. Duck not able to get the ball. Gets the demo instead. All three players back here for irrelevance. As the shots come in. One off the other. All three players in the attacking half. The clear here could be worth it for irrelevance. But they just back off too much. Give time for Zypher to get back into defence. Duck forward here. Once more onto the backboard area. Rocker. Out. Each awkwardly off the post, but manages to recover just in time. Duck forward. Back, sorry. Trying to just put off the attacking side of relevance, but just end to end here. Ping pong matchup. 
as either team tries to get the advantage in the game which could cause a lead in the series as well. Will cause a lead in the series. Crocker trying to beat the defensive player but doesn't quite work out. Ejap to Crocker again. Not enough boost to keep going. Just cleared out wide. Onto the backboard here, Duck. To get the clear but there's no one there once again to capitalise on it. It's just one player clearing it into the opposition's heart. End to end again. Nothing really being made of the clears and they're just seeming worthless at the moment. Middle here. Duck pushing forward. Ejap with the save. Which would have been costly if she didn't make it. It's down a goal. Here would be the winner, Leo, away. To stop that from happening here. Duck into the middle. Ejap needs to get the clear. It's still high though. Duck into the middle. Clear down and overtime looms in game number three. One all in the series. Just to establish a lead. The kickoff week. Thomas with the shot. Crocker. Just back. The open net here. Duck. Can't quite make it. I believe that was Duck. And now Relevance can push forward. Leo playing it out into an open space. Being the only one really pres pres uh, pressuring from behind. Raymond out. Duck forward. Bringing out Leo in the meantime. Raymond out to the middle. Keeping possession. Got a bit of time here. No boosts to do anything with that time, though. Only a minute here in overtime. Neither team really had much of a chance. The past few minutes. Thomas forward. Okay. Meeting the ball. It's a 2v1 opportunity here if Raymond can beat Leo. Which he does, and Duck comes in to clean it up. Nothing's made of it yet, though, and... Lack of boost in both teams' side means that no clear or shot is coming in at the moment. The bump going out onto the backboard. Leo just getting it away. Jack forward. Centralised play here. Pass needs to be out into the middle. Double commit here from Zypher. Leo pushes forward. Thomas. Bring it wide. Into the middle here, looping up. Leo getting it wide. Thomas back up again. It's just touch after touch, one to one from both teams. We really need to do something creative here to search out a winner. Leo. Duck a lot of time to try and make a pass, but it's really weak. He's up from out. Miss play in Zypher. We do have the upper hand right now. Duck trying to play it down to Raymond. It was a really bad pass in the end. Could have led to a goal for relevance. Did push that much quicker, but... Both teams having a lot of time on the do get the ball. Making much of it. This play again means that the ball hasn't gone far. Raymond into the middle. Duck being beaten out to her by Crocker. And Leo can... Try and beat Thomas there, not quite the 50 out into Zypher's corner. And once again, no pressure from defensive players. Thomas here with a lot of time though. Hooks inside, tries to play the pass to Raymond on to the back wall, but doesn't quite work. And have a chance for a dribble. Quite working, the fakes aren't falling relevant. So they keep trying to do it time and time again. The effect of it's really wearing off. Pass into the middle, Raymond's up. Raymond's going to meet it, Leo, to get the 50 away and get the block. Kept it one all right now. The miss from Thomas, an open net, potentially for Leo. The miss from the two defensive players. And the relevance, take the lead in this game, get the win. Take the lead in the series here, 2-1. Just a slow play. Eight out. Two of the Zypher players.
Game number four about to get underway here between Relevance and Zypha White. Relevance with the one game advantage right now, 2 1 going into game four. Crocker going for the double touch early on, duck away perfectly off the backboard. I want to see a bit more from Zypha White here. They're down and they're not really being as creative as they have been in the past games against Luxor. Zypha Green, but we'll see, see what they can do if they pull something out the bag here. Relevance get the win to seal up the series and seal up the Collider Cup. Go to the middle, Leo. Not quite able to get there. Jakey. Just play it up, Mr. Crocker. Back away. End to end again. Touch to touch from two play uh, two teams. Jakey, go for the shot. Crocker away. Leo. We'll take it forward, but the challenge is there once again. Duck pushing forward. Zypher really trying to push this. The redirect from Karaka on his backboard. A double miss and open net. Leo, relevance with the lead after just over one minute. Potentially still the Clyder Cup up and give them the win. Miss play on the backboard from Zypher. Gave the open net. Gave them the lead. Kick off straight to Jakey. Leo into the wide area. No pressure though. Thomas going for it again. The demo allowing Duck with the open net. And it was a great play there from Thomas to get that touch on the opposition. Just to see what happens. Could just wasn't expecting it. And Duck safely into the roof of the net just in case. Got game in their hands once again. So it's equalised up. Bouncing awkwardly here. Rocket has time. Panicked a bit too much and tried to play it a bit too quick. Leo. Getting the 50 against the two Zypher players. Yeah. Way. Thomas off the backboard. Shaky being the sub of this game if you haven't realised. The Zypher players had to go. The sub came it in. Crocker towards goal. Takes lead for relevance. Great finish into the bottom corner. Just he had so much time. Rotation was weak again. Just the quick finish into the bottom corner. Gives irrelevance lead once again. Puts the pressure on Zypher as they have to get the win here, otherwise they have lost in the grand final. The Jap. Going for it. Great play off the wall. Jakey. Towards the backboard and Leo. Getting it clear. Thomas back again. Great offensive pressure from Zypher to try and stop relevance from scoring again. The angle coming off the post and it's open net. Ejap giving them two goal cushion. And it's looking likely here that relevance could get the win. Double commit, both missing. Scrolling all along the line. 3-1 here with just over half the game left. Kick off here, frozen in play but Relevance pushing forward again. Thomas out of the goal in an open net and Zypher are just falling apart here. The great loop over the defender from Leo. Crocker just there to finish it off. Just seeing not much, not many shots coming in from Zypher. The three shots for them compared to seven this early on. Ejap showing to be the defensive player with no shots so far. With Leo and Thomas pushing forward, but there's enough time here for Zypher to get back. And we've seen them get the comeback with three goals needed, but maybe it won't happen again. Grand final situation. Thomas with the whip as well, into the middle, uncontested shot from Leo, double commit though, and the clear from Duck, but if one of them just turns, no one turns, no one puts pressure on, just trying to play it safe. Duck 
Go for the shot, missing the ball. Brocker away. Thomas make it really poor clear. Crocker being blocked by Leo. Pressure still. Ducks caught on the post. Just able to backflip into it though. Chap down. Duck into the wide area to try and regain possession. Try and catch out relevance. The good pass into the middle with the shot coming in. Leo being the brick wall on defence though. No more goals getting passed so far. Jakey trying to get the pass. Leo hooking it up. Duck to Jakey. Jakey back down. The play is coming out, but Leo with the interception. Really well played. The quick pressure again. Egypt trying to get the fake. Crocker out into the middle. Thomas forward and Life have a chance to push forward here. They clear away though. It's time here for Egypt. Jakey's in an awkward position. Just able to hook back and get the save. And once again, the save is in no boost. The 50 as well. Making sure no more goals go in for irrelevance, but for only three quarters of a minute left, it's looking unlikely. That's life can get back with the open net here as well, making it. That surely seals the deal here for irrelevance and the Clyder Cup overall. Poor clearance and centre. All three players in front of the ball for Zypher. And they've really lost it at the final hurdle of this tournament. Lower bracket run just wasn't meant to be here for them. Relevance with the fake. Trying to get two there. Not quite working. Into the middle. Leo. Able to get there. Play into the middle. Duck. Just caught out of position again. Open net. Maybe Thomas can get back in time. Crocker with a good angle. Off the post. Just awkwardly enough. So a sixth couldn't go in yet. Jakey with five seconds left. Pushing it forward. Trying to get consolation here. And here we have it. Our champions are relevant. Esports. Taking it three to one in the best of five. Timmy, what do you think of Relevant's overall performance? Well, they showed us that they are definitely a force to be reckoned with. Dropping not a single series in the Collider Cup. And yeah, they are the deserved champions. Yeah, I mean, definitely here, Zypher had an amazing run today, especially. But it just didn't happen in the last game. And I'm kind of a bit disappointed that it didn't happen. But, you know, I'm proud for Relevant. They've done very well. Zypher could have had a full low bracket run. They yeah, have both teams playing really well here. Also GG's to Cypher White and all the other teams of course. Thank you to all the teams for participating. Um, yeah, we're definitely planning on doing more tournaments in the future for the ECC. Mm. And yeah, I think that's about it. Irrele irrelevant Esports, you are champions of the Collider Cup. Yeah, definitely well played to them. Not dropping a single series throughout the upper bracket. So yeah, here you have our champions of the Collider Cup relevant. Congratulations to them. Yes, and season three of the ECC is going to start on February the 20th. So there's a lot more to come on the ECC Twitch channel. And of course on our Discord, if you want to join it, there's a panel down below the stream and if you want to check out our twitter for more infos and updates go check that out as well at euccgg also go check out our youtube channel for all the vods of every single match of the previous seasons as well and of course of the collider cup being uploaded there soon and also our tournament tournament page for season th season three and the streaming schedule for season three and also our donation button. If you feel generous, please donate so we can bring you more and better content. Yeah, I guess that's it from the Collider Cup. Any thoughts, Havoc? I mean, it's just a great tournament. Thank you for hosting it, Timmy. It was a pleasure playing and cast it as well. Yeah, thank you for participating as well. Couldn't have done it with all the help from the community and the staff of the ECC was fun and yeah maybe i'll do one again soon
Yes. So with that, thank you everyone for watching. Irrelevant Esports, you are champions. And see you soon with the start of season three. And yeah, see you soon.